Ja, sehr gut. Ja, willkommen in unserer virtuellen Welt. Ähm, ich habe mich da an den Computer gesetzt und wir machen einen kleinen Screen Grab. Ich gehe noch auf F11, F11 glaube ich. Patsch. Und dann sind wir full screen. Da sind auch schon ein paar Freunde von uns aufgetaucht. Um, maybe we should do it in English. Huh? Um, I think, just to let you know, I will walk around and give you a tour, maybe 10, 20 minutes of all the little features and gadgets we have built into our work adventure world map. Everybody who will join, uh, we, you will be live streamed, your face will be visible to the interwebs. Um, we have a Bitwäscherei Kanal, so it's even people without a ticket will see what you talk. Um, maybe a short test, say something, Oliver. Hi. Yes. Good. So the world has heard you. Welcome. Uh, <laughs> this is, some of them are our friends. And it seems that still in this work adventure map, we end up in Bitwäscherei, but we might not see us. Maybe there's some different servers or instances, I don't know. But anyway, let's, so <clears throat> we are in the Bitwäscherei, a virtual kind of environment. And where we are sitting now, you see all this garbage lying around. Huh? And that's kind of a physical rep representation of our entrance hall. It is full of old shelves, some Club Mate crates some other kind of objects that we haven't yet figured out how to get rid of. Um, we will use this entrance hall to inform everybody who will join the work adventure map of Bitwäscherei about our upcoming program. And you can, of course, you see our posters. And they sometimes even work, sometimes not. Um, so on these posters, you will be informed about the upcoming program, about Bitwäscherei, the different groups that are involved, and so forth. And uh, maybe some of the people that are joining this discussion, does the website open? Yes, we can hear you. Also, hi, Wils. Um, if you talk something, the internet will listen. Um, in fact, it was quite a fun adventure. I personally kind of spent a lot of time designing all this map. And it totally brought me back to, like, since I'm like 10 year old, I have been pixeling and making graphics for like RPGs and other stuff when I was working with the Commodore. So this was a perfect time to procrastinate, to hang around, to kind of, you know, just do something on the computer and draw some pixels. I like this. Um, so we have already used this work adventure for various activities in Bitwäscherei, by the way. We have used it for our regular open lab and we have also used it for our Christmas party. Um, and a lot of the things we have developed over the last couple of weeks when we set up this map are still somehow represented. Um, and I think I'll just show you around a bit. Um, as I mentioned in the last introduction, Bitwäscherei is a combination of like different groups, different communities uh, that have merged together to build a shared kind of hackerspace collective or what we call also Wohngemeinschaft Wege. Um, it's the Chaos Computer Club, it's the Digitale Gesellschaft, the Linux User Group, um, Switzerland and the Swiss Mechatronic Arts Society and also part of the larger global Hacteria network which is represented in another assembly we also have set up. We have set up uh, we have set up an open science lab in this space. So it's like four or five groups plus other communities around Zurich that are now regularly using the space. Um, little advertisement, there is a Winter Congress here uh, by the Digitale Gesellschaft. It's something a bit similar to the Chaos Congress, but more localized. It will happen in February also as a totally online um, activity. So. This is the entrance hall and some people you might be interested that we also do have toilets in our new space. Um, yeah, that's kind of what we have. And it was a fun adventure, like when we were drawing this, sometimes like the children of, my, of our friends from the space were here and we just draw some of the stuff together. Or we had an online meeting and we started drawing kind of a little um, niche for the different projects that are available in our space. Of course, we also have our Corona protection here, but let's talk about this another time. Uh, at the entrance here, on the, here you see the Waffle Lab. Uh, Millis, our main Waffle Operation Center responsible, of course, got his own kitchen. 
and it's a jitsi room whenever you're interested in waffles there might be some people hanging around and we used it recently a few times where people from home could you know have dinner together and we just used the jitsi room of this space and up here um, you see some um, you see the remains uh, the, of our Swiss Mechatronic Art Society SGMK SGMK Christmas Hybrid Umtrunk. This is our Christmas party we do every year. And you see some impression again, we use this virtual hybrid interaction while some people were in the space making music. And up here you see our exhibition. Um, so we ask all members around our communities to set up an exhibition and you can watch um, here like different websites somehow I have to go in and out it's a little bug where is it where is it yeah it doesn't come uh, maybe we check this one um, so it's an exhibition from kind of friends of the network this is Gallus Gallus Roboticus this is a speculative project about how AI and machine learning can help the chicken and how maybe technology is more humane to chicken than humans and so forth. We will talk about chickens more later. Um, we have friends that build the kind of their own 3D printers for making acrylic kind of canvas oil painting. And as I mentioned before, we really like music in our virtual space as well in our physical space. One of our core SGMK member um, is called Omega Attractor. And he has kind of here, you see some of his recent uh, music releases. Maybe we can play a bit of music. That should maybe play now. I hope so. Um, System der Dinge was just released. released. It's one other band of the same person. It's also our former president. So in this exhibition, feel free to explore it. It's some projects represented uh, around the community of Pifashai and SGMK. And we of course have a food bar left over from the last event. This is in fact from the last event. You see a bit the talks we were giving on this evening. We have chosen more like a kind of not really a physical representation, a graphical representation of our space, but more like a content speculative representation. We do not have a tree in our physical space. Of course, we have a post. Uh, we have physically a post in our space, but also virtually. Join the chaos post. Um, bit Zweigstelle, bit Wäscherei. And you can talk to Gandalf, who is our um, manager. There are too many speakers at the same time. Um, we also, as I mentioned, have a lot of projects around music and synthesizers. This is a modular synthesizer um, that also physically is in the space. It's even much bigger now than this old photo. And we will also be able to listen to this music in our online stream from Audio Asyl. And we have Bleep as a service. Um, our current president of the Swiss Mechatronic Art Society, Tilo, has made kind of a synthesizer that you can play from home. I don't exactly know how. And maybe that is live. Does it say live? Yeah, cool. You're live, Tilo. Um, and you can even send some commands to control these synthesizers. And here we have a representation of a crazy computer that is used for our friend and artist Melody, um, which is using VR, virtual reality, or to build a musical instrument in this virtual three-dimensional world. I think we'll have a short presentation by her on Wednesday. This is where we hang out, this is where we eat, it's always a mess. Sorry about the full ashtrays everywhere and it's a bit messy. Um, here we have our fermentation lab. Um, it's kind of drawn by Thibaut himself, the son of Maya, and Maya and other people have formed a recent collective of a kind of hacking experimental network of witches and female-only um, experimental gardening um, plant fermentation lab called Bad Lab, and they're also represented in our virtual world. What else do we have? Oh, of course, we have a Tesla coil. <laughs> Um, we really have, in fact, three Tesla coils in the space. Sadly, it's not live yet, so when you come here, it just plays music again from the same artist that we heard before. Uh, what is the time? Okay, good. 
Yeah, and then we were thinking, now we always see these names and a lot of our people in this digital world are quite, you know, about privacy and this and that. We thought we should have a dark room where people can meet without knowing who they meet. It turned out the dark room has to be a white cube, so our titles, our names will disappear. Uh, it's not opening anybody. <laughs> Uh, in, in, in the real world, in fact, this is our workshop, our workshop. We have an echo, idiot, you have to go away. Uh, uh, we have an office, it looks a bit less rundown than, than this old ruin of kind of mushroom grown over kind of digital Gesellschaft. As we guys sometimes say, this digital stuff, this was in the 90s. I think we should also work more with biology. We have a lot of mushroom growers. That's why there is this mold everywhere and other things. We also host a regular chess club here every Tuesday. Um, and I think one of my favorite is um, the, the, the chicken cam. Um, in fact, for a project, I mentioned it before, we had to get some chicken. And of course, we really physically put them here. And I think they're online. Maybe they're Maybe online. They're online. There are the there chickens. Are the chick Where, are Where are they? Where are they? I don't know. Where's, I don't the, know. Chicken? Where's the chicken? There is a bit of an, echo, an echo because, because there is because another there's camera another around camera the corner. Around. Chicken are gone. Chicken are gone. Chicken are gone. Maybe they're sleeping. Maybe they're sleeping. <laughs> they're sleeping. <laughs> so feel free to come here and check the chicken. The chicken cam is always live. Um, this is our smoking corner and um, here we have represented the project by a friend, um, Veli and Amos, who have used our space a lot for public art installation using light and some technology and sound. Uh, Veli and Amos have a, in fact, just around the corner installation up and here play some music, in theory. Ah, yes. I think we cannot have a chat up here because we can only listen to the music, it's silent for GT interactions. Good. Um, if you want to know more about Velian Amos' work, it's called This Is Not A Commercial. They come from street art and graffiti. Here is their graffiti. And you can buy a postcard. Um, what else do we have? Uh, up here in Digital Gesellschaft, whenever you want to have a meeting, there is like a meeting room using the big blue button of Digital Gesellschaft. Uh, a lot of the upcoming interactions will happen here, either directly in the BBB or here in semi-hybrid space. There will be a hangout for Digital Gesellschaft here in this cozy camp environment here. And more information to see. Uh, our physical lounge, this is where I'm sitting at this very moment, you also see the rocket. Um, is here. It's another Chitsi room. This is where we chill. At the moment we use it mostly as this production studio. And here we come to our lab table. The Mechatronic Lab, Mechart Lab, it's kind of our hardware corner. And again you can listen to some music. But I think we heard that track before. Maybe it's playing. That was Oli. Who was that? Here is Oli. Oli. Oli! Hi Oli, I played your track a few music. times. But I think uh, we you're a bit delayed, track. huh? Maybe it's uh, we, we, we have listened to your track a few times. This is the face of Omega Tractor I showed you around already. And in the Mechat lab, again, uh, someone, left, someone left some cigarette butts, some beer cans. Sorry about that, we have to clean up. Um, I mentioned maybe before, we have at the moment a hacker in residence, the idiot, um, idiot.io. They were also present at the Chaos Congress a few times, making mindfuck glasses or candies. Um, you can see his kind of little showcase here. Um, he physically came to visit for a couple of weeks and kind of got stuck and doesn't want to go back to Israel because it's so nice here. Uh, and we just did a workshop together. And maybe the website opens, maybe not. Uh, we just did a workshop together also using these virtual tools on making these sticky circuits, um, flexible PCB sticky circuits. And we slowly 
I think come to the Open Science Lab, which is here. What is this? The Open Source Coconut logo. Um, another project I'm personally involved is the 8-bit mixtape. Um, and of course, there is also a shop. You can go to see my shop and buy an 8-bit cool 8-bit um, tune mixtape, electronic synthesizer, Arduino compatible. Uh, this is, by the way, how I met a lot of people online. This was a fantastic hardware project where without physically knowing people, we started to collaborate and la years later we becoming friends. Uh, let's talk to Urs. Urs, how do you think our, what do you think about our lab here? Um, it's a delay, I can't really hear what people say, I'm sorry. Um, there is some distillation, there is like some etching going on for making PCBs, and again someone left some cigarette butts, I'm sorry about that. Uh, so here, here is where we set up the lab, we will have some workshops here in the Mechot lab and in the Open Science lab in the coming days, they will happen here in these Jitsi rooms. And now we slowly go towards the other islands that we made as part of the same um, virtual world uh, that are more related to the Hecteria global network. I see Julian who is also there. It would be great if you join. If you're interested in the finances of the Hecteria organization, here is kind of our empty bank accounts, kind of which we are into transparency. Um, um, so we're now leaving the kind of floor plan representation of Bitwäscherei, where all these groups are working together and go into a more imaginary world of the global Hectira network and we can go to these tropical islands and there should be some music. No? There's a there's a, another big blue button. So for the upcoming workshops we're going to use big blue button um, to have also people that are not part of the ticket sales system able to join because we invited a lot of interesting kind of people from all over the world that have, you know, no ticket. So um, sometimes it plays music when, what is about this mushroom? Let's take this mushroom. Who wants to take the mushroom? You want to take the mushroom, heck? <laughs> Let's take this mushroom. <laughs> Let's wait a bit for some people. Yeah, welcome. Now we are in the more speculative Hectira Global Network Island system and it could play music here. Maybe you hear it, maybe not, I don't know. Um, Hectira has been a network of different spaces, individual, and we kind of bridged a lot of communities in Europe that are working with do-it-yourself biology, with bio-art, or also called biohacking. We bridged them with other communities that we met over the last 10 years that maybe are based in Singapore, Indonesia, India. We started Hectira as a website, and I think we can check the website here. Um, as an idea of a wiki where people share information about how to work with biology, with this hacker mindset, uh, with the open source mindset and so forth. And um, one of our local partners is Gaudi Labs. I think he has his own, he has his own little lab over here. Um, here is another website of Gaudi Labs who has been crucial uh, on like really fancy, um, not fancy, but kind of high-end engineering of really low-cost and accessible open source hardware for building your own science lab. This is his shop. And let's, let's talk to, who else? Maybe he's in there. Where is he? Ah, yeah, he's there. Oh, the, he's working on the table. And this kind of looks like his real space where we visit a lot of time. It is in Luzern. There is Urs. What are you working on? The open drop. Ah, uh, cool. OpenDrop was a fantastic open hardware project on um, automization of laboratory protocols using like moving around liquids and mixing them. And you can see more information, I think, on this website. What is the time now? Roughly? Oh, good. Um, Urs has also been a member of the Swiss Mechatronic Art Society and also very crucial in the Hecteria network. He also built musical instruments, so here you can see the open theremin. Um, and you can even play a theremin. This is not made by himself, but we just thought it's fun to play theremin. I don't know if you hear the sound, but there is some sound when you play around here. And if you go here, you see more information about the open theremin. It's not showing up. 
Uh, what else do we have? Sometimes it's blocked, sometimes you can just suddenly end up kind of in the water. The collisions is not so good yet. Uh, and here, uh, where is Julian? This is Julian, huh? Ciao Julian! So here we made a little permaculture garden together with Julian virtually, but also practically physically. He has been doing a lot of permaculture, being a microbiologist and microscopy enthusiast. Um, we started with this Homo sapiens and I think there's a meeting happening now or when? I think in half an hour. No, there was a meeting at I five. personally cannot hear you, but maybe the internet can. <laughs> Uh, there was a meeting at from five to six, and tomorrow from eight will be in the next meeting. And we, 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 you were doing it in here in the garden, or where did it happen? Yeah, we tried, but there was some technical randomness. I think the the map will improve. I think there's still some bugs, but I think we're it's already fantastic that all you people could come here. Um, if you ever want to go back from this kind of imaginary island world to the Bitwäscherei, there's a stairs that brings you back. But we don't go there now. <laughs> um, so I, suddenly you can walk in the water. Who has done that before, walking on the water? I forgot, who is that guy? <laughs> uh, and then it's just a little, then you end up in Indonesia. Um, we have been collaborating with a group called Life Patch for more than 10 years or whatever. Um, they're also represented here. It's all in Indonesian. Uh, they have been crucial in kind of some of the collaborations we have been doing and they have hosted many of our friends as residencies and so far. And you can get a little impression here, see some old documentaries from old projects. And maybe over here, what this looks, how does this look? This looks like Taiwan, I think. Yeah, so uh, some of our collaborators in Taiwan um, he usually sits at the desk and has this Chinese painting behind him. Uh, he has just now been doing a, a project called Having Friends in the Future. It's also about an open source collaborative model, uh, process-based kind of learning about craftsmanship and e-textiles. And he will give a presentation, I think, on Wednesday. And our most recent project, Hacteria kind of network, was happening this spring in the heat of the first phase of the pandemic. I was, in the end, the only participant because no one else could fly all the way to Okinawa. Uh, you can find a documentary here. And I think slowly we're, ending to the, we're going to the end of our tour. By the way, if you press shift, you're really fast. Uh, don't take the rocket. Uh, this rocket, I think, also flies you back to Bitwäscherei. And here we end up in the, all in the north, um, where we're hosting a session of the sauna readings. We will host in this uh, Finnish, Russian-inspired sauna. Um, we still want to put some audio files for you to prepare, and re some readings will happen here. Um, we should maybe redo our characters to kind of have some different clothing when we go to the sauna. We will also hang up the program here soon. Um, yeah, and I think we can slowly take the rocket back to Bitwäscherei. Uh, nice. Uh, and I don't know, I think I've showed you more or less around. There's still some Club Mante here. What else do we have? There's still some people. Sorry, we lost you. We went to the island. I think they left us. Uh, so I think it's time to go to the balcony. Um, we have a non-smoking hackerspace, as some, I think most of the hackerspace is not all. Um, so I will chill around here for the next couple of minutes. And if you really want to go to some of these other um, assemblies, there is the exit that brings you back somewhere to the main lobby areas. I think we can take it together. And black. Whoa, this is where you find the Bitwäscherei. It's in kind of spaces south, which are weirdly on the right side, call it east. Then you have to go around the mountain all the way then to the northeast, and you find this rocket that brings you to Bitwäscherei. And with this, I think, 
I, I, I leave you alone. This was the little tour to our prepared world adventure map that we prepared for you. But we also use it a lot for ourselves in other, other activities. So, yeah, I think with this I should say goodbye and go back. Thank <music> you.